Three, two, one. Welcome to the Kids Bible Broadcast. Welcome to the Kids Bible Broadcast. Kids Bible Broadcast. Welcome to the Kids Bible Broadcast. This is the show that brings a little bit of crazy. Crazy! Crazy! A little bit of crazy. And this is the show that brings you a little bit of crazy. 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 And a whole lot of Bible. A whole lot of Bible. And a whole lot of Bible. Here's my Bible. Hello boys and girls, I'm your host Camilla and this is the show that brings you a little bit of crazy and a whole lot of Bible. Welcome back and good morning. This is another episode of KBB at Home and as you can see we are filming in the laundry. Now I wonder how many of you guys go into the laundry at home. I'm sure it's just your mum doing the washing. But if so, you should help out and go into the laundry every now and then. But that's not what this episode's about, so let's get into it. First, we're going to recap what we learned last week. So you might remember last week we learned about comfort and rest. And Ray taught us how if we give our fears over to God, he will give us comfort and protection. Now, because it was filmed in the bedroom, I gave you guys a bedroom tour. And if you remember, my bedroom's pretty boring. There was, wasn't much in there. But I asked for some of your bedroom tours and guys, your rooms are so cool. So let's have a look at some of those videos now. Hi everyone, welcome to my room. This is where I sleep, I pray and I read my Bible. And I sometimes read my book at night. This is where I brush my hair, I put on some perfume and I put on my jewelry. Now, you're probably wondering where my brothers are. Well, they're next door. Do you want to come see? Okay. Hi, welcome to my room. This is my brother and this is where he sleeps. I sleep here. I read my books and my Bible. And I even pray every night. I don't really play here much. First I have all my books, but this is my one of the special ones. And these are all my cars. And that this is my these are my Lego people collection. And this is Go Dragons. This is Matthew Dragon's Ball. And that's mine. And these are some Lego I built for my birthday. Spider-Man 
And that's me in Spider-Man when I was four years old. And I have my money collection. So this is one. So this is the first one with all the money I found. And that's the specialist. Boys and girls, I knew your room was going to be cooler than mine, but I didn't know it was going to be that much cooler. You guys have the coolest rooms ever. So many Legos and toys, and they're so colorful. You guys have been spoiled by your parents. You're so lucky. They look so cool. Thank you for sharing those videos. I love seeing them. I know all the other boys and girls love seeing them, and it's one of my favorite parts of the show. But I do still think What's Peter Been Up To is my favorite segment. It's just so funny, and he's always doing something weird. Now that's at the end of the episode. We'll get to that, but let's start now and send it over to the lesson with Scarlett. Thanks, Scarlett. Hello, boys and girls. I am so excited to be bringing you your lesson for today. So before we start, let's just recap the last couple of weeks. The first one we've learned about how important it is not to be lazy during lockdown and in other times and the importance of helping our families. And secondly, how we can find rest in Christ wherever we are. So this week's lesson is going to be brought to you from a new room of the house, which is the laundry. So before we figure out what that's got to do with anything, let's grab our Bibles and read our passage for today. So it comes from 1 John. Now 1 John is different to the Gospel according to John. That's at the beginning of our New Testament. You're going to keep flipping close to the end of our New Testament. Just before Jude and Revelation, there are the epistles of John. And we'll go to 1 John chapter 1 and we'll start reading from verse 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Now, this special word that links this very important passage to the laundry is to cleanse. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're talking about how we can actually relate to dirty clothes. And we'll also be learning about important tools like our incredible washing machine. So, it looks like Ray is already in the laundry. He looks really excited for today's lesson. Hey, Ray. What are you doing here? Oh, do you smell that? Something stinks. Oh, Ray, it's your clothes. Are they dirty? Well, you really need to get those clean. Yes, it is you, Ray. Look at your jumper. No, 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 I can't clean it. You need to put it in the washing machine. Just because you know there's a problem that doesn't fix it. You need to act on it. Come on, pick it up and put it in the washing machine. Ray, did you know that this is actually a great example of us? Just like clothes, there are two very important steps to us becoming clean. And the first is realizing. We actually need to realize that the way that we relate to dirty clothes is that we are dirty with sin. 
And that is what our passage told us today. If we read verse 8 again, it says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we say, oh, I've never sinned, I've, I've always been truthful, I've never disobeyed God or my parents, we are actually lying and we are not being truthful. We need to realize that we are actually just like stinky clothes. We are stinky with sin. Now, the second step is to take action. Now, there is a wrong way and a right way to take action. Now, if we had a dirty t-shirt, for example, we might think, I'm just going to grab a nice, fresh, big baggy jumper from my closet and wear it on top of my dirty t-shirt. Maybe that way I've covered up the, the dirty clothes. Or just like Ray did, you might grab your dirty clothes and chuck them on the laundry floor and hope that the laundry can work something out and make your clothes clean. But we know that's not the way. We know that if we don't want to admit our t-shirt is dirty, the dirt is still there. And we might do the same thing with our sin. We might say, oh, like I've done all these bad things. I know I've, I've disobeyed God and the Bible, but maybe if I just do a bunch of good things, that will be able to cover up all the bad things I've done. But the Bible is very clear that this isn't true. In the first part of Isaiah 64 verse 6, it says, but we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. That means any good thing we might do in our own strength will not be enough to cover our sin. So now is when we take the right action. We go to our incredible washing machine. The Bible tells us of only one washing machine that is able to cleanse us from our sin. And we read it back in verse 7, right at the end it says, The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Jesus is our washing machine. He is the only one that is able to make us clean from our sin. Now, this verse also tells us what we should do in order to access Jesus' amazing cleansing power. It says it in verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. See, Ray, your clothes don't even stink anymore because you took the right actions to make them clean. Boys and girls, I hope you've learned something really important about us through the laundry today, that we are dirty. And just like our clothes, when we realize they're dirty, we need to take the right actions to make them clean. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death. That means if we choose to reject Jesus' forgiveness and say, oh, I don't need you, I can deal with my own dirty sin on my own, we are actually accepting an eternity away from heaven and away from Jesus when we die. But the verse doesn't end there. It then says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God gave us Jesus so that we can be clean from our sin and to live as children of God. This is amazing grace. Boys and girls, if any of you aren't sure that you've ever accepted Jesus' gift of cleansing, make sure you reach out to your parents or to your siblings and make sure that you accept Jesus' cleansing gift today. Thank you so much for joining us for KBV today, boys and girls. I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for watching this episode, boys and girls. Now, before we go, I do want to leave you guys with a challenge for this week. So we learn about how Jesus washes away our sin. But now I want you guys to think of a creative illustration to show us how Jesus washes away our sin. Okay, so film it at home. You can do it in the kitchen. You can do it outside. Make a cool little clip and send it to admin at faithbaptist.org.au and we'll put it in next week's episode. Thanks in advance and I can't wait to see them, guys. See you later. What Peter been up to?